Welcome back to the transfer show. Nothing's really changed in this studio to do with still got the top and still got the balls. My top's changed. That's always a given. Transfers. Andy Cook has agreed to sign a two-year deal at League One side Walsall. He had a very impressive season last season, scored 28 goals with Tranmere, obviously got in promotion after the 2-1 win against Bournemouth at Wembley. He actually scored first in that game as well. He's been a very integral part of Tranmere's side this season. I'm sure many fans will be sad to see him go. Andy Cook himself said, I've scored 51 goals in two years. Now he wants to prove himself and I don't blame him. Many people have said they think he's gonna fail in League One. For me, I hope he does perform well. He has already shown he's got the ability to be a very good striker. Can he do it in League One? We can only wait and see. The sort of reported that Sheffield United are keen on signing Jamal Blackman on a permanent deal. Obviously, he's a Chelsea loanee. He had an impressive season last season. He kept a total of nine clean sheets. It's clear to see why Sheffield United want to sign him on a permanent deal. That should be done later this week. The Eastern Daily Press have reported that Norwich are keen on signing the 24-year-old German Marvin Ducksch. He currently plays in the second tier of German football of St. Pauli, obviously a notorious club. He was loaned out last season at Holstein Kiel. He scored 23 goals as well, which is obviously impressive. To add to this, the Norwich manager, Will Moe well, they were both together at the BVB Academy, the Dortmund Academy. Will this swear the German's decision? We can only wait and see. Redden have shown midfielder and signing midfielder Marcus Madison. He's put on the transfer list at the start of the season by Peter Brehu, as many of you might know, they are having a big clear out this season. He didn't appear much during the 16-17 season, making only eight appearances, scoring only two goals. If we were to compare this to the season before, he did score an impressive 13. He has shown if he can get the chance, he's got the ability, he can score goals. Max Clark. Hull have turned down two bids for the out-of-contract defender. These bids came from an unknown championship side and Vitesse Arnhem. I've probably butchered that name. Moving on. The Yorkshire Evening Post have reported that Kyle Bartley wants to leave Swansea. Obviously, Kyle Bartley was injured throughout the season. I think he is a championship player, though. His discipline obviously isn't great, but it will be interesting to see where he ends up. And now for the roundup. Roman Curtis has joined Portsmouth from Derry City on a two-year deal. This is an undisclosed fee. 19-year-old Max Walters has joined Doncaster from Ashton United. This is Doncaster's second summer signing. Adam Elab has signed a new deal at Wickham seen him there until 2020. 34 year old Alan McCormack has just signed a new one year deal at Luton Town. And finally Michael Doherty has left Peterborough by mutual consent. I'm sure there'll be many clubs trying to sneak in. Grant Holt is becoming a fucking wrestler. That's right, former Norwich striker Grant Holt has agreed to appear for World Association of Wrestling. They've also said that Grant Holt might not just appear at one show, claiming that he could appear at any time. He's actually due to start his wrestling training this coming Thursday where he's going to team with Roy and Zach Knight. Not to be confused with former defender Zat Knight. He's due to win appear at an event called Frightmare 3. He has claimed that he isn't going to stop playing football. He is going to try and combine them. Obviously, he's currently a player coach at Barrow. Obviously, he's not the first footballer to transition to the wrestling world. Stuart Tomlinson, also known as Hugo Knox. Tim Weiss, former German goalkeeper, did sign for WWE. We can only wish him the best of luck.